Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to part two of the whole types assignment. Uh, in this demonstration, we're going to be uh, making more holes in the block of glass that we created in the first demo. And our objective is to make 11 different holes in this block of glass, each with different sorts of physical features, such as whether they go all the way through um, the thing that we're um, putting holes in, which is a block of glass, whether it goes partway through, which is called a blind, whether it has a um, angled bottom or a flat bottom, whether it has a counter sink, a counter bore, whether it has external threading or internal threading, all of these different um, holes are going to represent these various features. So this is the top view and the side view of what we're working on and or what we will be creating. And uh, these right here are the instructions of both the depth and the diameter of the hole we're making. So if it is just a simple hole that is just straight all the way through, it's gonna have a one set of instructions which just tells you what the depth and what the diameter is. But if you have one of these top parts here, um, which one of these rectangular parts or one of these angled sort of inverted tri triangle parts, then you're going to need a second set of instructions or you will be getting a second set of instructions that's gonna tell you the diameter and the depth of just that top part. So we have a set of instructions that tells us what the entire um, depth of the, of the hole is and what the width of the bottom part is. Um, and we also have a second set that tells us what the top part is. So these are the symbols that we are working with. This is our diameter, which tells us how wide our um, hole will be. This is the symbol for counter bore. This is the symbol for counter sink, and this represents depth. So only four symbols that we're working with. Um, any additional stuff will have to do with threading, and we'll get to that uh, when we get to it. So let's go to our Fusion 360. This is where we left off. Get rid of myself here, move myself over here. Okay, and um, what we have here is our block of glass and we have our first hole and our first hole goes all the way through and it's simple. It has no threading, it has no counter bore, it has no counter sink, it's just a simple hole. So we're going to uh, activate our hole function by going to hole here and create, but this is the last time I'm going to do that. From now on, I'm going to hit H for uh, to open up our hole function and that's our shortcut. So the second hole that we're making, we're gonna make right here. And it's gonna make the last hole that I made. Um, but let's take a look at what the features are. So first of all, it is a simple hole, which means it doesn't have a counter bore or a counter sink. It's simple in that um, there's no threading on the outside. And it has a pointed bottom, not a flat one. And the distance doesn't go all the way through, it goes two. All right, and when we get that, we get this arrow that we can use to help us determine the um, depth of it. Now this one, the depth is 0.75 and that's what I'm gonna put in. Oops, um, let me start that over and we'll just do it, do it all here. So, okay, we're gonna change that. All the settings are correct, um, but the diameter here, Take a look to see whether that's correct. Um, that looks like correct. So what we have here is just a simple hole with a peaked bottom that three fourths of an inch uh, has three fourths of an inch depth and half an inch diameter. So I'm going to hit enter and set that, and that is our second hole. So we're going to create um, our next hole. I'm going to hit H to open up the hole function. We're going to go here to our third point. And it does, of course, make the same hole that we did. And the next hole is going to be similar, but different. So it's going to be a simple hole with a peaked bottom, but the diameter and depth are going to be different. So this, um, this represents the entire depth of it. So I am going to make it double the size at 1.5. Okay, so we have our 1.5 and now we have to deal with the diameter. So we're gonna change it from 0.5 
to 0 0.88. And let's take a look at that. Okay, so that's looking good. I'm gonna hit enter and set it. And this makes our third hole. The next one we're going to make is going to be our first counter bore. Okay, we're gonna hit H, open up our function, go here. And counter bore is this second part here. We're gonna click on that. Um, it's going to be simple, meaning it doesn't have any threading on it and uh, it's going to be flat. So we're gonna change that. Now, once we have our counter bore, we have this top part here and we have this bottom part. So there's a separate set of dimensions. So the first thing I'm gonna do is set the um, depth for the entire thing. And that's going to be this, um, this field right here. So let's just see what that is. So that is going to be um, 0.75 half, of the depth of the previous one. And now let's go to the um, diameter of the bottom part. And that is going to be 0.25. Okay, I think I made a mistake here. It's two periods, two dots. There we go. Okay, now we're gonna deal with this counter bore part, the top part, and that's these two fields here. So this is the diameter and this is the depth. So um, for this one, we're going, the countersink diameter is going to be 0.5 instead of this one, 0.5. And then it's going to have a depth of 0.25, which is already there. So that is looking good. I'm gonna set that and here we have. Okay, so the next one we're going to make is going to be a countersink. Okay, and that is this third option here. All right, and everything about it is uh, the same. It's simple here, simple here, it's flat. So um, we're gonna start looking, plugging in those dimensions here. So let's take a look at the whole length of this. And the whole length, which is here, is 1.25. Okay, so we set that. And let's take a look at the diameter of this bottom part. So that's going to be here, and we're just going to get rid of that too. Good. And now we're going to deal with the counter pole, the counter sink part. And that has a diameter of 0.88. All right. And then we're going to change this to, we're going to keep this 60 degree here. All right, and that's looking good. So I'm gonna hit okay. And now we have our simple, we have uh, two more simples with uh, angled bottoms. We have a counter bore and a counter sink. 